name is Rick Francis. Um, I'm going to start a video series here uh, called Dad with a Blog. Um, the reason why I picked that um, is because I'm a dad. Uh, I've been a dad now for almost 26 years. Uh, um, and uh, I am recently divorced um, to love my life. Uh, and uh, uh, the reason why I needed to, to do this uh, video um, is cathartic. Um, maybe it's like a diary, you know. I hate writing, you know. Um, my job, I have to write crap all the time. I don't like writing. Um, I'm gonna probably, you know, I'm gonna have a blog that's gonna accompany this blog. Um, but um, the blog, I think, you know, is something that that I really wanted to do. Um, I think there's a lot of guys out there uh, that are like me, really, really good solid dudes that want to be a great dad um, and you know we're on the outside looking in right now and uh, you know I'm not going to get into it right now uh, about why I'm divorced or, or anything like that or why the, the woman I love more than anything is you know I'm, I'm no longer married to her um, and I might get into that later in a, in a different video but this one's just kind of the introduction of why I'm doing what I'm doing you know um, my kids are awesome they're great they're fantastic kids um, they range from middle school age to now I've got my son uh, graduated college, uh, he's 25, and uh, he is um, on his way uh, to his first teaching job <laughs> uh, in Utah. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, uh, for me, uh, uh, it's the hardest thing ever. Um, I think going through the divorce is the hardest thing uh, I've ever experienced in my life um, and uh, it still is I struggle with it every day um, but uh, what accompanies that now is being the dad that doesn't live with the kids um, uh, there are reasons why some women should not have their kids I mean let's be let's face it not I mean just a little background on me I'm a cop I've seen it Okay, there are some moms out there and they don't, they don't need to have their kids. Um, <laughs> their kids are better off uh, being raised by strangers than they are being raised by, by some moms that I see out there. Uh, my ex-wife is not that person. Um, and women that are like my ex-wife who are awesome moms and terrific wives and angels. She's a, she's a saint, an angel. Um, uh, deserve the opportunity if they want to, to be the primary caretaker of the children in the divorce. Um, I believe that. Uh, I think the mom is the most important person. A loving, caring mom like she is, is the most important. I think the dad is second and that he needs to be accepting of that situation and as, be as relevant as possible in children's life. I did not fight my wife at all for custody. Um, not because I don't love my kids. I love my kids in death. That's why I'm making this vlog. Um, but uh, for their sakes, um, you know, when I got, you know, when I was seven, my parents got divorced, and all I heard was bad mouth. My mom bad mouth my dad. My dad bad mouth my mom. You know, all that kind of stuff. Um, and uh, it's, you know, I grew up that, jeez, you know, what they taught me is they're each other's bad, so I must be bad. You know, um, I don't want my kids to be that way. I don't want them to think that. My, their mom's a saint. Um, uh, I am. You know, <laughs> I mean, some of the mistakes, definitely no saint, um, but I'm a good guy, I'm a, I'm a good dad, um, uh, you know, I'm not a, you know, some sort of creep or, you know, I don't do alcohol or drugs, um, I don't uh, beat my wife, <laughs> I don't do any of that kind of crap, and, uh, you know, I'm, I am a, I'm a good, solid dude, I've, I've been a good example for my children. Um, and uh, I want to be there for them. And uh, being though that I didn't fight for custody and, and, and allowing my, my ex out of it, do we have kind of an open uh, custody agreement? Which I go over, you know, shoot, we live in the same town. It takes me 10 minutes to drive um, over to their house. Um, you know, I still, it's the house that I raised them in. 
you know, um, I decided to do that because I want you know, I pay the mortgage on the house because I didn't want them to have to move. The divorce is hard enough, but then to be uprooted from the house they grew up in, I, I don't want that to happen either. So, um, being as, uh, you know, uh, honestly, you know, um, I can afford to pay the mortgage, and I do, um, and uh, um, so that they can stay there. Um, but however, um, you know, I'm still the outsider. I'm a stranger in the house. There's boundaries in there. I mean, I can go over there whenever I want, but I can't, uh, you know, I don't go upstairs um, to my kids' room even. You know, I, I don't do any of that. Uh, you know, I, uh, my kids are upstairs and I come to pick them up, and, you know, I stand at the bottom of the stairs and holler up for them, come on down so we can go, you know. Um, I, 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 there's boundaries. There has to be boundaries, you know. It's my ex-wife's house, you know. She has to have her space. Um, and, and, and so there, there are those boundaries, um, but, um, you know, I get to go over there whenever I want to and see them. Um, there is, um, no fight for, you know, we discuss way in advance, um, holidays and stuff like that. So, yes, I never even thought about that before, you know, being divorced. It's like, what the hell do you do with your kids, you know, at holiday time, you know? Luckily, you know, last year, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas and stuff, um, uh, uh, Thanksgiving, you know, my ex-wife, she took the kids down to, to her family, um, and, and they went in there. They came back later in, the, in that evening, um, and, and had Thanksgiving with me too. Um, and, uh, which was great. Uh, I, 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 I love my wife or my ex-wife for doing that. Um, uh, Christmas time, um, that the presents were getting open in the morning, um, uh, I went over there at, you know, 6 o'clock in the morning um, to open presents with my family. Um, uh, and uh, it was great. I, again, uh, I love my ex-wife for letting me do that. Um, but that's our agreement right now. Um, but I'm still the outsider looking in. I know there are a lot of guys out there that are like me that have no idea what the hell they're doing right now um, and how they're going to stay relevant in their children's lives. Um, being the outside dad who wants to be an inside dad, um, you know, but circumstance preventing us from doing that. However, we got to make the best of the situation. I don't have any answers. That's why I'm doing this vlog. I'm hoping somebody may see this video on YouTube and say, hey, dude, you're stupid. Here, try this. It works for me. You're being an idiot. Maybe, you know, they, <laughs> I hope maybe I can learn something. I'm hoping maybe I'm doing something that I might help somebody else with, you know. Um, but this is going to be hopefully cathartic for me. And uh, uh, I love my children to death. And I know there are a lot of men out there that, that are in the same boat I've been. They love their kids. They love their family. They want to be a part of it. But circumstances didn't work out for some reason, you know. Um, I never thought in a million years I was going to be divorced. I thought, you know, my wife would end up a, a widow. <laughs> I thought, you know, I, I didn't want to, I, I, I didn't want to, her to die before me. I, I was I always planning, I'm going to die before her, so I don't have to be alone. But here I am, freaking alone, um, as a divorcee. Um, <laughs> and it sucks. It really freaking sucks. However, um, I'm a man about it. I'm not going to sit here and be a puss and sit here and whine on these video logs. You know, yeah, it sounds a little bit like me. I'm telling you, it sucks. That's a fact. That's not whining. Okay? It freaking sucks. So, uh, but what the future here on these logs are going to hopefully do, hey, shoot, there might be days that I do mine. I don't know. Hell. You know, there's bad days, there's good days. Um, but I'm going to report on the good days. I won't report on the bad days. And I'm going to try to get advice from people. And I'm going to hopefully maybe give some good advice to, to some of you out there. Um, any women that are watching these videos, um, uh, you know, uh, don't judge us. We're, yeah. We are just dudes that are trying to do the best that we can. Uh, we're not deadbeats. We're not not taking care of our families. We're not taking. We're not not taking care of our, our obligations. We are doing the best that we can, 
and in these circumstances, um, being human, we're going to make mistakes. Uh, I made a ton of mistakes in my life. I am a freaking moron. Uh, an educated moron, but I'm a moron nonetheless. Okay? Um, and uh, the issue is, do I keep making the same mistakes over? Or do I learn from them? And that's what I want to do is learn. Because right now, my kids are the most important thing to me, and I want them to be well adjusted. And being in a divorce, especially a, a, a marriage as long as my ex wife and I had together, um, getting divorced in that type of situation, um, especially my adult kids. I have three adult kids. That is terribly hard on, on my adult kids. Um, more so probably, you know, I'm not discounting my, my 12 year old, I don't know what's going on in his mind sometimes, you know, he looks at me like, you know, what the hell's going on, Dad? <laughs> you know, but yeah, these kids are resilient, they're, they're whatever, crap, man, I remember I was seven, I'm still scarred. Um, I know he is, he just don't want to say anything, he doesn't want to make my, uh, me or his mom mad at him. He's afraid he didn't want us to divorce him. You know, I don't want him to feel that way or burdened or whatever. So I need to, I need to get some advice from you folks out there and help me um, figure out how to run my way through this. Uh, uh, most dire and unfortunate of circumstances, which is being divorced, uh, the worst thing I can think of. I can't even imagine anything that is uh, worse right now for me. Except for, you know, something happened to one of my kids, and that's what I'm trying to prevent from happening. So, um, please, uh, join me, um, visit my, uh, visit my blog, uh, my website, uh, which is, uh, dadwithablog.com. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at, uh, rickfrancis71, and, uh, you can also um, follow me on Instagram at, with uh, um, at uh, Dad with a Vlog. Um, and uh, good day. And this is the first of many, many videos to come. Uh, and uh, it's August 21st, 2017. Have a good one, y'all.